Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Russ with RWGResearch.com. Y'all are probably wondering where I've been at. I've been doing a little this, little that. I had some uh, family issues and working way too many hours. It's killing me. So I haven't had a whole lot of time to do some testing, but I did uh, I did wrap this 32-gauge wire on my, uh, my VIC bobbin, and it created around 1,000 volts, which is good. The problem being, this looks like it's probably only coated once, and basically it's shorted out. And I've had this problem with this type of wire before, um, but that's okay because Blaine himself, you know who you are, Blaine, sent me this roll of 32 gauge wire, and uh, it couldn't have been the right time um, because I need it. So, um, Blaine, thanks, buddy sent me lots of other good things. I had a Variac and lots of other components. Uh, he's been a blessing. So have uh, the rest of you. But today is July 4th and in America we celebrate July 4th with a lot of fireworks. Uh, and luckily I've had fireworks left over from about three or four years ago. I used to create this giant massive setup and I had like three, four hundred shells all set up inside uh, in this jig. I don't have it here. It's out of my father's house, but there are two videos online, one of the first year and one of the second year, or maybe it's the third year, and the first year everything just went crazy. I put a fountain out there and it lit everything else. It was hilarious. But what I normally do, and here's what I'm going to be lighting off today, this is leftovers, uh, and this might not work very well, I used hot glue this time instead of my normal taping, but basically I use this cannon wick. And uh, I usually run all this stuff together. I actually, I normally have two or three pallets set up. Um, I haven't been able to do this for a long time since I got married and had kids. Imagine that. But uh, I usually set this whole thing up and just light it in one spot. And I get to walk away and go sit down and watch it. And the other videos that I have posted, I will um, link those in the description. You guys will thoroughly enjoy those. And basically um, what it is, I, I think the one of them I couldn't get the whole thing on there. I don't even know if it's on there. But the other one is the first year, and everything just goes crazy, and a big storm was rolling in, so I had to light it while it was still daylight. It would have been great. But right after we lit it, the tree where we were all sitting got hit by lightning, and bark just blew about 300 feet all the way across the, my dad's house, all the way out to the road. So luckily, I lit it, and we all went inside, because I was standing right at the window looking outside when that lightning strike happened. I had the camera in my hand, but was not on, like filming. I had it on, but not on filming. I was like, oh man, that would have been the greatest thing ever to catch that. But anyway, uh, today, like I said, July 4th, I wanted to give you a quick little update, tell you where I've been. I've had some family things i got to take care of. It's uh, It's been very stressful. Everything's fine. It's just been stressful. So uh, we'll get to moving on here. But wrapping this 32-gauge wire, hopefully it will not electrically short out. Um, and do some more testing. And I haven't really had a lot to show you guys, so I haven't had a whole lot uh, of videos being made. Uh, it's just slow progress. I would like to try some high voltage. Um, Blaine sent me a Variac, which I've been actually wanting to get one, and I just haven't yet. I've been waiting. And Blaine sent me one, and I'll be able to control the, vo the high voltages going into my stuff. So he's also sent me some high voltage diodes. Uh, so I'll be able to make a, I think they were 15,000 volt diodes. So a 15,000 volt diode bridge and use some DC. He also sent me a DC um, high voltage 5000 volt power supply and some caps and stuff. He sent me a lot, a lot of really good stuff. Like, I don't even want to guess how much money he probably sent me worth of parts. And thank you. Thank you all for spreading the word. Now I'm going to quit boring you, but I just wanted to tell you a little bit later today I will be setting these off. This is my homemade firework contraption. Basically what this is if you ever want to make one of these, you have to break all the sticks off the bottle rockets or else it's not very fun. When you break them off, they all just go crazy. You don't want to be near this thing. It's actually very entertaining. These are really cheap bottle rockets. Uh, they probably won't even pop half of them because they're very old. And uh, basically, you, you take this cannon wick stuff, which I was explaining to you earlier, and you can time this. Uh, and you can time it, and you can actually get this to do whatever you want. And what I used to do is set up these giant boards like I said, like four by four pa foot pallets. Uh, there might be a picture on my background of my YouTube. But anyway, I'll link those videos. They're pretty funny. Back to this. Um, so you take these bar rocks and you pack them in here as much as you possibly can until they're real tight. I actually don't quite have enough. And then you take this cannon wick and you run it down in there and you put it down in spots and it actually weaves back and forth underneath here. 
And if you pack these in here tight enough, what happens is when you light one, it doesn't go anywhere. So it just throws sparks into the bottom of this can. This is a metal metal can. You can use uh, old coffee cans work great. Um, and basically what will happen is the first couple that don't go anywhere will make this giant fireball inside this thing and they'll all light. It's really entertaining. So I uh, encourage you all to make a, a rustic uh, firework here, that's what I'm calling it. Pretty cool stuff. Normally I take tape and I tape these things together. I, I'm trying hot glue because it was just, I had it real quick. These are just really bright lights, but I'll be lighting this earlier. I mean, <laughs> earlier later uh, when it gets a little darker. But anyway, I just want to give you a little, uh, hey, I'm still here, I'm still alive, still working on this stuff. Um, I've gotten in contact with a few more people, and um, if things do work out, I'll be able to have some of those uh, divider plates cut out. Uh, I did some, I went to Hobby Lobby, I think, and got some real thin plastic. This is stuff right here. Uh, I thought this was going to work really, really good. It was only like $1.68 a sheet. I only need about two of these sheets. Uh, and I started cutting it, and it just shattered. It looks like the stuff that wouldn't break. It looks like that really hard plastic that you can just bend and bend and bend and bend. It doesn't break, but unfortunately, it just shatters. So I'm going to have to order some uh, ABC type uh, plastic or, or something along those lines. Uh, and a, a new fellow named Jeff is offering to set up his little homemade CNC machine to cut these out for me. So we'll see how these things go and uh, I'll be giving you updates. But look forward later tonight for that video. And I would like to do a live session soon. Uh, I've also contacted uh, Smart Scarecrow, Smart Scarecrow, and uh, I know Mike Powers. I know you said you'd want to uh, be on that. I don't really know how it's going to go just yet, but um, I will be on that show sometime. I'll, I'll let you guys know when. But uh, lots of information. I'm gonna leave you guys go. Video's getting long already. I hate boring you guys. I like showing you things. I don't like talking. I like showing you guys stuff. So I'm gonna let you guys go. And uh, happy happy holidays. Uh, I know it's Canadian Day yesterday, I think, or whenever that was, two days ago. I don't know. I'm in America, so I don't know, guys. But happy Canadian Day. Happy whatever you guys do in your country if you celebrate anything. If not, whenever it comes, congratulations. I don't know. <laughs> okay, guys. Peace. This is Russ, rwgresearch.com. Uh, trying to get some stuff done here. Holidays, so hopefully I can get a couple hours in today and show some more interesting things later. All right, look for that video. Please look at the description. Watch those other two firework videos. They're hilarious. The first one, you'll laugh. You will laugh. It's hilarious. Peace.